three, two, one. We had a row. And I don't remember what about, but when we'd stopped, he was fine. And I was raging. We'd had a few to drink, but not that much. Enough so I can never remember all of it. I was just sitting, just sitting in my chair, like a coal burning in front of the fire, so full of anger I couldn't move. I felt like my own clothes were scorching, but I never made a sound. He said, ah, there's no talking to you. So he didn't, got himself a beer. the television, read the paper and laughed at the sports news. I just sat. Once he looked over at me and sort of snorted through his nose in disgust. Aren't you going to bed? He said. I said nothing. I just sat, burning. He got himself another beer and fell asleep and snored, the telly lighting up his face, his mouth open. I just sat and looked at him. I felt that no one could ever waste so much love on anyone. I felt so full of crying, I was just tight with tears from my toes to my hair, stretched tight with crying that wouldn't get out. sat there for hours and I remembered and what I remembered what I couldn't stop remembering was a moment when we were arguing and my anger flashed over and started to burn me alive and that was the moment he laughed at me he set me on fire he watched me burn and he laughed thing happened. I felt my lips pull away from my teeth in a snarl like a dog's. I tried to close my mouth but my lips kept twitching and tugging away from my teeth. I bared my teeth like a wolf, like a demon. I felt like my eyes were popping out my head. He didn't drink that much though. It was no more than a lot of folks. And we didn't argue that much. No more than any couple you've ever known. I, I don't know the reason. Apart from this, I don't feel any different to anyone else. I felt so much like a wolf, like a demon. I felt there was a devil in me. I felt I was the devil. I think I was the devil then, or his dog. I had a kitchen knife in my hand. Now, I don't remember picking it up, but it was there in my hand and I stuck it in him! A stupid fuck! Thinking he could just do or say anything he wanted and then snore away, as if how I felt had no consequence at all. A stupid fuck! For two seconds, I was glad when I saw him bleed. But then, I just wished that none of it had ever happened at all. I miss him so much. I miss him so much. I wish I'd never met him to hurt him so. You should remember your dad. He loved you. You should remember your dad and go away from here, Josie, and never come back. 